It is Tuesday, October 4th, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Tuesday puzzle, of course, so it should be another relatively approachable puzzle with a theme. And I can see a few circled cells poking through there, so that's exciting for me. And this circled edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Josh Lucas, Bradley Pirtle, and, as always, the inestimable Hood Monster, the invaluable Timothy Mark, and the indomitable Shoalmaster. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support helping to make this channel sustainable. I really do appreciate that. Thank you for your generous contributions. And thank you, all of you who are uh, patrons of the Patreon campaign. I very much appreciate that. And uh, for that support, at any level, you can get access to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week. Uh, you can find all of that at patreon.com slash daily solve, or in the link in the description field underneath the video, where you can also find a link to the Daily Solve Discord chat server. Nice community. You can join and discuss the New York Times crossword, the Wordle, other crosswords, crossword construction, and so on. And uh, do subscribe to the channel if you've been enjoying these, and why not tell a friend if you've been doing so and you think you know somebody who might enjoy them. You, you, you never know. You may. And, well, I suppose if you're here, you enjoy these, at least uh, in, th in theory. So let's get on to the puzzle. This is, as I said, a Tuesday puzzle. It was constructed by Joe Dini, who has constructed around a dozen puzzles for the New York Times, and it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving. Okay, big name in artificial intelligence. I'm wondering if this is how the um, the, antagon the sort of antagonist computer character from 2001 A Space Odyssey, the Stanley Kubrick film, but let's look down and see. No bid, oh no, I guess it's not. <laughs> no bid for me is iPad. So that was all pointless comment. Maybe it's a IBM, uh, which has the um, you know deep blue AI computer and that sort of thing. Oh, I think I have something in my eye, sorry. Uh, the Garden of Earthly Delights painter, Bosch, Hieronymus Bosch. And Luau dish could be poi, um, dish served at Luau's. An Anglican bishop's headwear is a mitre. And I assume that because we're referring to an Anglican bishop, we're going to be using British English in the spelling here. But I'm not, I'm not sure about that because I guess more technically, Anglican often actually refers to Church of England outside of uh, outside of Britain, but um, let's just look. The Beatles, blank a woman. She's a woman. There we go. And then handwriting on a prescription, perhaps. Scrawl? Doctors <laughs> doctors are often said to have a poor handwriting, so there we go. Oh, sorry. Okay, a coarse file is a rasp. And an implement that might be pulled by a tractor. Uh, a plow, right, of course. Oh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, for one, is an astrophysicist. There we go. Okay, so that looks like it's a theme, theme answer. I wonder what it's doing there. We have I, I guess it might not be. Anyway, the great pope between Sixtus III and Hilarius, a very good name. Um, Leo the Great. Um, so nice. Ooh. Oh, is it Leo the First? Are we going to be putting eyes into all of these circles? Risky email button to hit accidentally. Reply all. Is, that's definitely a real risk. And like some home impro improvement projects in brief are DIY. Yeah, I think so. Can we put I in here? Maybe this will be two. Who knows? One named Greek-born soft rock musician. No, it is I, because this is Yanni, I think. I don't know that I could tell you a single thing Yanni's done, but I think somehow I do know Yanni is a one named Greek-born soft rock musician. And here we have diamonds and slang. Diamonds could be referred to as ice. Let's just jump down here and see. If you're voting against something, you're anti that thing. A shimmery material is what? What is this? A sh a silk? A silk sort of shimmers. Let's check the crosses on that. No, it's not silk. Vincent Van Gogh or Van Gogh in the respective US and UK pronunciations, both not linguistically correct. I know, you don't need to tell me. Uh, Vincent, Vincent Van Gogh there. And 
Shimmery material. Oh, mica, maybe? Mica is sort of shimmery. Um, Dallas Baller. Oh, I think I do know this. The Dallas Mavericks, I think. Um, basketball team. And uh, here we have what well, looks like Reunion, par ex example, but it would be Reunion, par exemple, and it refers to uh, the Isle, the Isle of Reunion, a French, French territory. So uh, we're going to, because the whole clue is in French, par exemple, rather than for example, um, that means the answer is going to be in French as well. So we're going to spell this in the French manner, Il, rather than the English Isle with an S. Okay, one way to administer fluids for short. An IV trip, an intravenous trip, maybe? Address on a business card. Oh, I, I was going to go look at... Oh, sorry, I forgot I was going to keep looking at the um, uh, theme. So John, who wrote, how does a poem mean? I don't know. Let's look at these and make sure this is still true. Tablet debut of 2010. Yeah, that must have been the iPad. And... Um, a lengthy attack is a siege. You might town might be under siege under under lengthy attack. A beer barrel is a keg. New Orleans to Tampa direction. Well, it'll be well, it'll have east in it. Um, New Orleans to Tampa direction. Would that be probably east by southeast? Maybe. Let's see if that works. So New Orleans, Louisiana, and Tampa, Florida. Tots transport. Well, maybe a trike, a tricycle. And woodworking tools are what? Lathes or um, oddses, maybe? That's a woodworking tool, right? The odds. Um, or ads. I always forget which it is. Uh, best guesses as to when in brief. ETAs, estimated times of arrival. And first, second, or reversed for first, second, reverse, each of those is a gear in a car. And of course, because this says first, second, or reverse, you might think, oh, we're looking for a three-letter word with a plural with an S on the end because there are three of those things. No, um, you're not looking for a plural. You're looking for a singular because of the or. We're only referring to the first, second, or reverse gear, only one of them. Okay, kept moving quickly, something along. Uh, moved along, trotted along, um, hurried along? No. Um, I don't know. What about this short one with an I? Target is aim. You're on target. You're on aim. Um, kept moving quickly. Probably has an ED here. What a spell checker's red squiggly line indicates. Uh, hmm, an error. Oh, an error, just in a general sense. I was trying to think of a spelling error, but I suppose that's, that's implied by spell checker, so we don't need to indicate a spelling error. It's just an error. Fiddlesticks could be darn or drat. Darn looks more likely with this cross here. Poem, ah, uh, yes, poem that begins once upon a midnight dreary with thee would be, of course, The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. Um, words of resignation. I concede. You um, resign in a, in a competition of some sort. So John Ciardi, how does a poem mean? Okay, I don't think I, I don't think I know that. How does I mean I I'm, I recognize how does a poem mean I recognize that but I don't think I read it myself and I don't think I recognize the author's name so I must not be very familiar with his work okay let's go on word after baking or cream baking soda or cream soda and spend some time in a cellar say aged maybe as in wine for instance in a wine cellar bag checking organization would be the TSA so the People who check your bags at the airport in the U.S. And Harley Davidson on the NYSE. Oh, that's funny. So New York Stock Exchange. This must be the stock symbol of Harley Davidson, which I didn't know this, but it must be hog, which refers to a motorcycle. So they must have gotten that ages ago, I guess. Okay, stay focused or a punny description of the placement of this puzzle's circled letters. What does that mean? Eyes on the prize? Because of the eyes? Oh, uh, right, but spelled spelled properly. Eyes on the prize, right. Yes, and then these are eyes. So what does that mean? Oh, prize. So the eyes sort of delineate the beginning and the end of the word prize. And Oh, and here, metal. 
Oh, to hear trophy. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's funny. That's what a, what a funny thing. So we have a trophy, a medal, a, a prize, literally. So we need, we need something else. We need a, more of these. So what is this? Oh, we, we already have, I was thinking we could use that to help us, but no, we, we already have that. Um, kept moving quickly. I don't know. Oh, it's going to be, I'll, I'll feel, I'll feel annoyed when I eventually see it. Mania is, I don't know, some kind of, it could be mania in a commercial sense. Like there was a, something was a huge fad or it could be a mania in an individual sort of psychological, psychological sense, but I'm not sure. Sentence that's really two sentences. Could be the sentences, could be in sentence with, in terms of a prison sentence. I'm not sure. Uh, fully informed. In the no, in no. Up to date? No, it doesn't fit. I'm glad I have I because that's that's rolling up to date out. Uh, Coast Guard rank. An ensign, maybe? Oh, sentence that's really two sentences. A run-on sentence. Right. You, you, you have a sentence that keeps going past the point when it should be a single sentence. Drag race host. RuPaul. There we go. Dr uh, RuPaul's drag race. And the television program. And then... Mania is a craze. It is sort of a fad, that sort of thing. Okay. Oh, so zoomed along. I'm not surprised I didn't think of that. I'm less annoyed about it. <laughs> um, it's not not really the kind of thing you say very often. Uh, fully informed is up to speed. There we go. Crossing our zoomed along. A nice little speed and zoom cross. Uh, cat's sound of self-relaxation is a purr. So fiddlesticks was darn. Why didn't I just put that in? I can't remember. A multi-tool has a lot of them. Well, by definition, it has a lot of uses, multiple uses. To have the wheel is to steer. And that in uh, Tegu Chigalpa. Oof, I'm not sure. Sorry, exactly how to pronounce that. But it looks like it's in Spanish. So eso uh, would be that or esa, I guess it could be. But in this case, no, casino figures are odds. So that'll be an O. And then since January 1st is year to date. Okay, the address on a business card. What is that? Um, I don't know. How did I get there? Oh, Women's Links Organization is, I think Links refers to golf. So the P, the, no, the LPGA, the Ladies Professional Golf Association, I think that is. And collection of points in math are uh, lo, uh, loci. So like, um, Loc locus points, essentially. Um, the Walking Dead actress, Lauren. You know, I've never actually seen The Walking Dead. Um, so I don't think I... Unless this person's in other things, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to get that. Filling at a filling station is gas. And uh, so filling station, a, a gas station. Hill worker. Uh, you could have an anthill with worker ants. And... Maybe this is Logan. No, 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 no. It doesn't. G wouldn't fit here. Never mind. Uh, damning verbal attack is. Not sure. Satanic is evil. There we go. Only a master of evil, Darth. <laughs> Sorry, it's the way I said evil reminded me of the way that um, Alec Guinness says evil in Star Wars. Okay, dangerous email button to hit accidentally. Send. Honda model since 1972. The Honda Civic is a, is a, a car. Okay, so this could be Cohen, maybe, or Co Cohen with an H. Damning ver verbal attack is a... Oh, I thought I was hoping that narrowing that down would help me get this, but for some reason I seem to have a blind spot for this word. Um, big name in insurance. Oh, maybe this is cup. The eyes could be framing cup. So does that work? Oh, I haven't even looked at this clue. That was silly. Set up a couple on a blind date, say, is um, played Cupid. There we go. Famed Ford flop is the Edsel. Oh, this isn't an IV drip. Oh, that probably threw me off elsewhere. So the Edsel was a car uh, manufactured by the Ford, the Ford Motor Company that... Um, 
I think was named after Henry Ford's son. I think his name was Edsel. And anyway, the car was a huge, huge flop. Okay, one way to administer fluids for short is an IV tube. Big name in insurance. I'm still not sure about all of these. Oh, that's annoying. Golden Bear School. Oh, well, this was my school. The University of California at Berkeley is the Golden Bears. The California Golden Bears. So, uh, unusually, I know this, <laughs> this sports mascot answer. Damning verbal attack is... I don't know. Insurance. Is Sitka an insurance company somehow? Is that something? Am I just making that up? That might be something else. Um, Dungeons and Dragons and Diablo in brief. Well, Dungeons and Dragons is a role-playing game, and Diablo is a computer game. You could you could sort of I wouldn't it's sort of a role-playing game, I guess. Um so RPGs, I guess that is. And then address on a business card is Oh, it's a URL. Right. That's what I was wondering if it was that earlier, but I, I didn't allow myself to get it because I had what the way to administer fluids was entered incorrectly. So that's a shame. So IV line, it must be. Oh, Cigna. I think that was what I was thinking of. And I just remembered it imprecisely. Okay. So what is this? Damning verbal attack. A Philippic? I think this, I think I might be, I think I'm not quite familiar with this word, maybe. So, um, it was an H, which was one of the things I thought. I'm just going to have to hope that's correct. We'll come back to it. To vote for something. Oh, no, no, I see. It's not to vote for something. It is a vote for something. It's a noun, an I, a sort of a noun, but it's, it's the identity of the vote for something is I. Never before seen as new, and a large number is a slew, and that rhymed. And that's the end of the puzzle? It is. So here we have Philippic. Let's look that up. I'm sort of, I'm just curious. Um, going to look it up now in Chambers, which is the dictionary I use most because it is really good for cryptic crosswords, I find. Okay, so Philippic. Let's see. Um, one of the three orations of Demosthenes against Philip of Macedon, and then, as a result, any discourse full of invective. So there we go. A Philippic, there we go. Any discourse full of invective. A damning verbal attack. That's good to know. And that was our puzzle. Our puzzle uh, containing our eyes on the prize. So have we looked at all of these yet? I can't remember. We have our trophy as part of Astrophysicist, our cup as part of Played Cupid, um, our medal as part of Zoomed Along, and our prize, simply part of Eyes on the Prize as our revealer. Trophy in Astrophysicist is a pretty good spot. Um, these are these are the kinds of things you could have as hidden word clues in a cryptic crossword. You could, you could um, say something like um, part of Astrophysicist has a, gets a win, for instance, something like that. That's not a great clue because part of astrophysicist doesn't, doesn't mean much, but, but it just, you know, if you found a good way to phrase that, you could then say, oh, well, the a trophy is a win. And, um, you're saying part of astrophysicist, meaning part of the, part of the board itself. Um, and all of these you could, you could use in that manner. Uh, pretty good. So there we have it. And it was fun spotting the eyes and then getting to fill those in which is something I often forget to do, but um, when I remember, it's enjoyable to just run through the puzzle and get some some low-hanging fruit by entering the bits of the theme. So I enjoyed that. A nice theme by by Joe Dini and uh, some good sp uh, cont word container spottings by, by him. And you know what? I actually didn't have any clues from yesterday's puzzle to correct because uh, it was a Monday puzzle. It was fairly straightforward. And uh, sometimes that's just how it goes. So I think that means that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the puzzle. Let me know how you fared with the difficulty and the theme and everything else. Um, and I'm always curious to know. Um, people often discuss that in the Daily Self Discord chat server. So maybe head over there to discuss it as well if, you, if, you've, if that is of interest to you. Anyway, I'll be back tomorrow for the Wednesday puzzle. Maybe a little bit of a step up in difficulty tomorrow. Could be. 
and I hope you join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Tuesday. Take care. Mm-hmm.